updates for the new Apple iPad, Chinese writer Mu Rongshui Tsun is less than enthused. He says the U.S. tech giant allows pirated copies of his books to be sold and read on the tablet, prompting him and other authors here to take the American icon to court. This is unfair to us, he says. I hope Apple, as a big company, can take responsibility. This is the second dispute against Apple in China over copyrights. The company faces an ongoing legal battle with a Chinese electronics firm over the iPad trademark. Apple's products are popular here, so coveted the tech titan can hardly contain the crowds. But the legal tussles have raised concerns about the company's future business, in a country where authorities often let violations of intellectual property, or IP, slide. Murong and 12 other well-known writers are are suing Apple in Beijing. They say nearly 100 of their works have been ripped off and made illegally available at Apple's online store, downloaded more than one million times. The group has quadrupled its original demands for compensation to $8 million. In a statement, Apple says, as an IP holder ourselves, we understand the importance of protecting intellectual property, and when we receive complaints, we respond promptly and appropriately. It says anyone who sells materials at their store is required to secure the necessary rights. Apple is a victim of intellectual property rights violations itself. In China, it's easy to find fake iPads, fake iPhones, and even fake Apple stores. For tech companies, particularly foreign tech companies, um, IP protection is a huge issue. And I think that by drawing more attention uh, to intellectual property, um, that that's good for Apple and it's good for the tech industry overall. Murong doesn't think Apple is good for his industry. If our copyrights are not well protected, it will definitely hurt literature and cultural creativity, he says. A lesson learned for a nation now creating its own designs and where more and more people can afford the iPad. Yunus Yun, CNN, Beijing.